Marlins vs Vikings. Most milk, thanks for the prime sub, appreciate it. Just borrow us. Okay, some decent games though. That's not too bad. I'm not happy about playing Vikings with Malians, but we'll do our best. I mean, I, I genuinely think that Malians just have to make use of their Castle Age these days. It's all they have. Like, fast ballistics and stuff. Other than that, they have very little going for them, so... Let's see what I can do about that. Could also just open Scout Skirm as well versus Vikings. The problem with Scout Skirm versus Vikings is that their men at arm Spear can be very hard to deal with. Very, very hard. So maybe what I'll do is I'll just open Archers then. Or Drush Archers, something like that. It's going to be fun. <clears throat> I want to be the, the attacker in Castle Age, so whatever I do, I have to be playing aggressive in Castle Age, pretty much. It's okay to add economy and boom, but what is not okay is just to let him attack me constantly, and then me just defending, because my late game is very, very weak. I mean, Viking late game isn't the best, but at least I have Arblast, you know? British Arblasts are huge. Uh, let's push in a deer here. It's always nice to push in a deer uh, when you're trying to play aggressive, because I think it really helps out your early game uh, spike. Especially when going something like scouts, get, make a couple extra scouts. Transition to farms is a lot smoother. And you ultimately just get a faster cast of time overall as well. Sorry Mr. Shane, I was doing a state exam, no problem. Did you pass? Did you do well? Mountains do have Arbalest, that is true. Actually, I only missed Bracer, he misses Thumb Ring, it's probably even. Just like, going Arbalest without Bracer is so ass. Yeah, I prefer Bracer, no Thumb Ring any day, honestly. What's up, Kate? I use the tip of my finger to avoid using the nails on it? Yeah, it sounds like impossible, actually. I would definitely break half of them if I tried to play with that, something like that. What's up, Wessex? Okay. Nice. That mill is my favorite, by the way. This mill is insane. Because like you can quick wall easily here and easily here. It's my favorite type of mill to do versus men at arms and like drushes. But you don't always get a position like that, you know, that's the problem. Yo, Cham, go. Instead of tier one sub, bro. Welcome to the stream. Thanks a lot, man. It's popping, bro. The decision was the final nail in the coffin for her. I'll see myself out. Yeah, dude, bro. I can't believe that's so. I can't believe you typed that and clicked enter, man. Damn it. Listen, we all make mistakes. It's fine. It's fine. We all make mistakes. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, good in the hood. Forward gold. We can play against that. So the other summers. So falafel. Quick Malian militia. Ah, uh, nah. Don't really like drushing. Exclamation mark house. Look at this clown in the chats. Must be new to my stream. Never seen me do 20 pop scouts. I missed the end of the best of 21. Who won? <laughs> that the viewers true. The viewers won. Uh, no, the um, I won the series 11-7. So that's a little bit of a spoiler there. See what he's doing now. Okay. 
He's on three on gold. That looks like an archer play to me. If he's archers, I can go scouts, no problem. I could also open skirms, but I think scouts into skirms is better. Because I get to put some pressure. With skirms, I, get, I, can't, I can't do shit with skirms, you know? But with scouts, I can at least put a little bit of pressure. So I'll, I'll try opening scouts here. Can you explain why many pros apparently wait really long to get first attack upgrade when going nice? It's not so important. Yeah, first attack upgrade is really bad unless you're going to be raiding villagers. Because then you kill villagers in four hits, not five. But other than that, it doesn't do a whole lot. I think I like it versus other melee units, like other knights, but I, I like the armor versus archers the best. Archer, uh, armor just gives more value, so yeah, that's like the answer real quick. He always will do that. Yeah, kind of baited him there. <clears throat> I don't really want to full wall that side, because it's going to waste all my woods. Is he doing militia? He's, doing, he's not doing militia, right? I don't think so. I have gold here. I'm gonna go with an early skirm. Just three scouts. Oh, that's bad. Can I make another scout then? I just lost one drill, it's not a big deal at all. Stable. Not a big deal. It's not gonna work because he has wheelbarrow, but I'll try it. That's too hard. He simply moves too fast. Of course, into a wall and rewall, it's like a lot though. Back here, I'll see. Oh, nice. Good wall from him.
I'm gonna play Night Scrim. That should be a good fight. Did I kill someone? I didn't kill any bill. <laughs> That's pretty bad. Fine. Not the best, not the worst. Would love to get uh Got a second stable. I think I have to do a tower here though, just to defend myself. Or just counter attacks. So I'm not planning to boom anyways, not really, so that's fine. Play quite aggressive. And make a tower to defend myself. Because that, that gold is just so exposed. Like if someone goes there, I'm just I'm just dead, right? So Gotta defend myself. He's probably up to next age. I'm not sure actually. He sh probably should be. Hard to tell exactly by the scores. It's not gonna work. My scouts are too low HP. Might be able to kill this guy though. Well, I have a lot of idols. A lot of idols. Mm, I can go full Night Siege actually, versus Vikings. Oh, my scouts are so low, bro. He just needs to kill me. Oh no, that guy's one hit, bro. They're doing so much damage, though. It's still fine. Send the bill forward. I'm gonna weaken some of these uh, bills to get them later. With my knights. Before I make Wilbur, I need one more. Shit. Now he knows exactly what I'm gonna do. Alright, you know what plan B? Let's just get a monastery. Plan B. I'm gonna go raid and get a monastery. Get my eco upgrades. I, I, I want to do siege rush forward. It looks like it's not gonna happen, so I'm gonna switch up the plan now. Monastery defense. And I just play a, like two stable knights for a bit, and then I switch to probably some boom, some eco. Hopefully, I get some good damage, because or else he's gonna be super far ahead. Yeah, he's on mega defense right now. Which is actually really bad for him. It's exactly the position I want to be in. Yeah, if he's not walled, he's probably just going to die to... Die to out mobility here. He's trying to raid himself as well. He raided my gold though, it's kind of good for him. <clears throat> wow, so many knights. That's so good for me though. I think that's amazing for me. Because now I've forced him into making that many knights. So now he has a big army, but it doesn't really scale well at all. Now you're dead. That crossbow at least.
He's gonna go to Monastery now. So I'm gonna definitely definitely invest into a couple scouts. I'm gonna go light cav as well a little bit, maybe. Depends on how many monks he gets, but just a few light cav can be really good. Let's start mm, let's start taking a little bit of stone here. Just a little bit of stone. Not a lot. Tiny bit of stone, you know how it goes. That monk's gonna pick up that relic, then go home, and then go to this relic, and then go home, and then go to that side. And this next monk will heal me. Couple light cav. And I know I could do light cav because he's doing a lot of knights. And so I'm, I'm not going to be scared to commit into a lot of castle here. Looks like he's walled up his base now, finally. So I'm not going to be able to raid as much as I want to now. Time watch will be essential here, since I'm not uh, fully walled. He's uh, getting some walls down here, it seems. Let's stay on the map with the light cav. Just a few light cav, by the way. They're just huge at getting control of the map. They're absolutely essential at getting control of the map. This monk is going to go scout. Oh, hold on. Oh, he knows I don't have a lot, actually. See how immediately my light cap are getting a shit ton of value? Immediately. Now he, he can't push out like he wants to with his monks. He just he's just not allowed to. I think he's still doing it and he's gonna get punished for it. He still wants to do it though. I don't know why my bills are flooding there, but we'll make the most of it, I guess. I think he saw that Siege Workshop as well. I got uh, two bills. <laughs> A lot of damage there. Oh, really fast conversion. Whoa, look at the score! He's getting wrecked!
I'm just gonna roll you, bro. I'm so sorry. You're gonna get rolled. <laughs> no. Imperial Age? <laughs> oh no. I have nothing versus Imperial Age. Dude, he made an Imperial Gate. This is gonna be hard to stop. Whoa, GG. Yeah, I, I don't think Imperial was the call. That's just super greedy, right? I, I even noticed this. I, like, my score is so high, you know? I think he should have probably... Like, what, what can he do, right? He's just playing full castage versus Malians. And I have Cav Skirm. Like, I'm on Cav Skirm. Um, not that I have that many Skirms, but I have a range with Fletching, so I can easily switch the Skirms. So what can he really do? He can't really go Pikes, and I just easily switch the Skirms. Forward Siege Rush, I didn't add a whole lot to my push, though. But it's still good, I think. It's still fine. Did he go wrong? Uh, I don't even know. I think it's just like my monks were just too much value, I think. Just running into the knights. I, I just played the, the, the perfect strategy in that matchup, I feel like. It's really hard for him to do much.